So a giant sentient tree tells you that you're not ready for the true power of the Master Sword. That you're a little weakling. A, a weak link. So what are you going to do? You're going to step up and smash the 45 floors of the Master Sword Trials like the hero you are. And these hints are going to help you do it. If you've been saving up Korok Seeds, your best potions and your tastiest foods, now is the time to use them. You're going to need every advantage you can get through the trials. Expand your inventory, get those yellow hearts and extra stamina containers, chow down on a 30 minute plus attack or defense boost to last you through your fights. So before you get going, grab some mighty bananas from Eventide Island, smash three of those together with a mighty thistle and a dragon horn and you'll have half an hour of super strength. The only thing you'll keep when you warp onto that first floor are your stat boosts. All those wonderful swords you've been saving are going to vanish, so you've got to fight like a Hercules in Hillian boxes. Every single resource is precious in the Master Sword Trials. To give yourself the best chance of victory, you'll have to search high and low for every weapon, chest, apple and slither of hope that you can find. Use your bombs to crack open wooden boxes and barrels for extra food. Climb the trees in search of eggs, the mother bird won't mind. Check your surroundings for chests and extra weapons so you can toss that branch. Make sure you recover that missed arrow, you're gonna need it. And speaking of arrows, leave an archer for last and sponge up near infinite arrows with an old shield for some extra ammo. <laughs> Vigilance is the name of the game here, heroes. In the later levels, swords and foodstuffs will be as rare as rocking horse poo. One tool that you'll be able to keep hold of as you're battling Bokoblins and Lizalfos is your trusty Hillian iPad, the Sheikah Slate. Remote bombs will make earlier floors way easier. You can use those bad boys to deal with squishy enemies and save your oh-so-precious weapons from breaking, as well as using it to crack open those wooden boxes. Magnesis is also great to break open the metal boxes you'll find around the floors. And what better way to break them open than bashing them against the Bokoblin's skull? Unless you have literally been in stasis, then there's no reason why you shouldn't have this stasis rune upgraded to version 2.0. There will often be times where a horde of choo-choos or bokoblins are chasing you down. Press pause on those jerks and deal with its friends, or use it against one of your larger foes for a few cheap hits. You may be stuck in square rooms underground for the time being, but that doesn't mean you can't use the world to your advantage. Like on floor 3, those annoying choo-choos setting everything ablaze may just land you a free chest. You can really make the most of burning shrubs and campfires by lighting your weapon ablaze, but if you're really hurting for health then you can always drop some raw ingredients into a burning bush to make the most out of them. Although it is usually better to save them for floor 7 and prepare them in a cooking pot, a roasted apple or two in your time of need may be what saves the day. And while most of your gear is still sat in Korok Forest, you still have your glider. So take advantage of high platforms or burning up drafts to deliver powerful bow shots or AoE strikes. Get creative, it's you against the world kids, you've got to do everything it takes to get that sweet sweet sword. <laughs> Now this may seem like an obvious one, but if you've not yet learned the ancient arts of enemy patterns and dodges, now's the time. You may have gone through the entire game never using this feature, which is totally fine, but that may not cut the mustard in the Master Sword Trials. Luckily, once you've saved before embarking on your new challenge, you'll have infinite opportunity to practice your dodging skills. Flip and leap during the swing of an enemy's attack, or land that perfect parry with your shield to slow down time and start wailing on whatever beast was foolish enough to step to you. It may take some time to get it down, but with a little practice you'll basically be the Hillian version of Neo, never taking a hit, but dishing out the hurt. So those are our tips to get you through your Master Sword Trials. If these helped, then you can show your appreciation by liking the video, and if you've got any tips yourself, then add them into the comment section below so Rob Handlery can finally stop sucking and finish the damn trials. For more tips and tricks for Breath of the Wild and all of its upcoming DLC, make sure you subscribe to GameSpot.